I started thinking like, okay, I want to get sleeved up. So I had to figure out what I wanted to get next. And I wanted to get something that symbolizes myself, my life, the stuff that I go through. So my next tat after that was cherubs. Um, if you guys don't know what cherubs are, those are the baby angels. And they, you know, they're either playing a, a, a harp or a trumpet. So I went online, started just drawing some stuff, and went to my tattoo artist, like, can you work with this? Because I look at it like I've been doing music since I was a kid. So it was only right that I got a sheriff, one playing a harp and one playing a, a trumpet. So that's what I have right here. This is a uh, sheriff playing a uh, trumpet. Hopefully you can see that. And then this is my other sheriff playing a harp. So those are my third tattoos. Then after that. So my next tat that I got, um, I got it on my wrist, my inside wrist. And um, it's pretty much a lotus flower. Uh, I got it because of the Southeast heritage. And um, you know, you see Buddha meditating on the lotus plant or the lotus flower. I'm not Buddhist, I'm a Christian, but I, I got it for, you know, Southeast Asian. And then um, I also got it because of what it symbolizes to me. I looked at it like, okay, this flower only sprouts in the swamps, muddy waters, and it sprouts up a, a way out of the ground, out of the water, into this beautiful flower. So I was looking at it like, okay, that's like me, you know what I'm saying? Like, I grew up in, in the hood, like I grew up when it was dangerous, I grew up, you know, in a broken family, but everything that I went through made me who I am now, so I'm sprouting into the man that I am now. So this is my lotus flower. So that's that. And then the tattoo that I have after that is my latest one, which is like a big mural or picture you can say. Um, I wanted something to really, really, really stand out because at the time it was just the scripture or the prayer and the lotus flower and this whole area right here was empty. So what I did was I wanted something to really, really symbolize something very important to me and it was God and my guardian angels. So I went and looked at three different pictures of guardian angels, went to my tattoo artist, like, can you mix these three in somehow? And that's what I got. So on the outside of my forearm is a guardian angel with three or four doves on there. And then around that is clouds. So I have clouds surrounding everything. And um, it's gonna go all the way up to my shoulder once I finish my next piece. So here it is, my guardian angel with the clouds and the doves. So, actually it starts from my wrist here. Goes around, there's a dove right there. There's another dove right there. And it goes up like that. And then the clouds go up. My elbow has the storm clouds. Looks like that. And then the latest one is the, this is a cross, wooden cross that, that Jesus was crucified on. I wanted to make sure it was the wooden cross. And that's pretty much where I'm at right now as far as my tats. And the, there's another dove right there, if you can see. So all the empty spots here and here will be filled up. This space was saved for last for my next piece, which is going to hurt like hell, which is why I have it saved for the last tattoo. Um, it's gonna be a Southeastern Asian elephant uh, with the jewelry and the anklet and the, the little blanket on, on its back and the tusk. And it's gonna look real dope. I'll show you a picture of it right here. Okay, so that's gonna be all up in here. Once, once I get it on here, the clouds will fill in all the empty spaces. So that's pretty much the story of my tattoos and what they mean. And the tattoo shop that I go to is right here. 
OC Tattoo. So go there. For those of you who know me and know about my tattoos and know about OC Tattoo and I sent you there already, you guys can vouch for me because I've seen a lot of your work and it's from the same artist, so it looks great. And again, make sure if you get a tattoo that it means a lot because you're dying with it. Alright? So that's my story on my tats. Thanks for watching. Peace.